It's the end of the road for racers competing in the Hokahe Motorcycle Challenge. The cross-country race ends in Homer, and bikers are preparing to celebrate their success. Channel 2's Jackie Bartz joins us now live from the finish line in Homer. Hi, Jackie. Hey, Lori. Every rider that I've talked to who has crossed this finish line has a very unique story to tell me. From the 70-year-old man to the young woman who's about to cross the finish line who is riding in honor of a friend who's battling breast cancer. It's a finish line without any fanfare. When you get here, you, you know, in the back of your mind, you're thinking, oh, you know, the whole town's going to be there and they're going to shoot off fireworks. And you now I pulled in, there's 30 of my other riders here and they clap for me, went inside and have a hot dog. But for these racers, it's about what it took to get here. Somewhere in the middle, I was just praying to God that I was going to get here. I was praying that I was going to make it. I just wanted to make it to here. This is the first year of the Hokahe Motorcycle Challenge, a 7,000-mile-plus race from Key West, Florida to Homer, Alaska. Coming off of Key West was pretty wild, you know, 400, 500 bikes thundering across those bridges, and then once we got back to the mainland, they just scattered, you know, it looked like fleas going everywhere, bikes everywhere. I couldn't see not participating in it. I, people ask me, sir, are you crazy? Why would you want to do that? I'm like, why wouldn't everybody want to do this? Bikers hit the pavement June 20th. Each rider determined to roll into Homer the winner, but they quickly discovered it was a challenge just to make it to the end. Sure, it wasn't until I was, I'd gotten overcome by heat in Oklahoma and I was laying on a pile of ants and it just kind of hit me. The course wove through valleys and mountains. Riders face dangerous weather and even more dangerous wildlife. A uh, big horned sheep tried to ram me, knock me off the road. A couple brown eagles tried to fly into my bike. Uh, we've seen some bears and some moose and almost hit a moose. I, I too almost hit a moose. I almost hit a bear. Over, one guy ran over a skunk and everybody behind him got skunked. <laughs> he pointed, he said pothole, and then he realized it was a skunk. It was a challenge crafted to test endurance and strength, and even ingenuity. Plug that end in there. Plug this end in here. Now don't grab the handlebars, it won't fall over. And there you go. Where'd you go? <laughs> there you are. That's a lot better than sleeping on the ground with all the rocks. Hundreds of engines roared at the start of the race, but by Saturday, not even 200 had crossed the finish line. I don't care if they pick my dead body up off the side of the road. This is what I'm doing. I came all this way. This is what I'm doing. And I, in that, that last stretch, you know, it's, it was heavy. They made it to the end of the road with broken bikes and sore muscles, but the money and time they put into the challenge can't compete with what they'll take home. Stories that few can tell, and a small group of riders who understand. If I see them anywhere else in the world, any time the rest of my life, they're going to they're gonna be a part of my heart, you know. The Hokahe Challenge is a fundraiser for the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. The entry fee was $1,000. Now, organizers tell me that there will be a half a million dollar prize presented to the winner at Sturgis. Now, there have been some critics who have suggested that this entire challenge is a hoax, but today I spoke with organizers who assured me that that's wrong. Lori? All right, thanks, Jackie. Channel 2's Jackie Bartz reporting tonight.